NVIDIA has dominated stock market headlines over the last year, for all the right reasons. Ever since OpenAI unveiled ChatGPT, in late 2022, NVIDIA's cutting-edge chips have become the cornerstone of the AI revolution. Triple-digit revenue growth, a stock price soaring over 600% since the start of 2023, and the company cementing its place among tech giants like Apple, Microsoft, and Alphabet, NVIDIA is on everyone's radar. Yet, what's even more intriguing is how NVIDIA achieves all this with a relatively modest spend on research and development compared to its peers. But before we dive into all the nitty-gritty details, let's just say NVIDIA isn't your average tech company. It's redefining the rules of the game, and even though it has been going through turbulent times as of late, it set itself for a very strong comeback in the very near future. Welcome back to Investocracy. Yeah, look, I think it's just, there's just fears in terms of growth, not just from NVIDIA, but I think across semis, and that's why you just saw a disaster day, you know, for, for just the whole semi food chain. But but I just look at it, has anything changed? And, and look, that's why we're in Asia in the next few weeks. Nothing's changed from a demand perspective. Demand continues to way outstrip supply. And then you look at earnings, I think it was sort of a muted reaction. But I think we take a step back, and this is a story where the demand continues to ramp up from an AI perspective. Black all delays, you know, put to rest. I think th these sell-offs, in my opinion, are buying opportunities, not the time to panic. The financial world is buzzing, and the epicenter of that excitement is NVIDIA, especially ever since AI came knocking on everyone's door. Nearly every company dabbling in AI seems to be powered by NVIDIA chips. And with the anticipated launch of the Blackwell platform in Q4, NVIDIA is raising the bar yet again. And here's the kicker. NVIDIA has achieved all this while spending significantly less on R&D compared to its magnificent seven peers. Yeah, you heard it right the first time. You would think a company of this size, and with all the hype surrounding it that it has invested more than any other company into its research and development to reach the top, but data shows the complete opposite story where Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, and Meta platforms shell out tens of billions annually on research that sometimes leads nowhere, NVIDIA's spend is far more calculated and efficient. Over the past 12 months, NVIDIA has spent just $10.6 billion on R&D, pocket change compared to the billions thrown around by its competitors. However, don't let the lower spending fool you. Since its inception, NVIDIA has earmarked $45.3 billion on R&D, leading to groundbreaking innovations like the GPU in 1999 and the CUDA programming model in 2006. From fostering the PC gaming market to transforming general-purpose computing, NVIDIA's influence has been monumental. But before we go any further, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account, we post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market. So click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. I, I just wonder, Dan, if an antitrust probe, if that escalating from the DOJ, this subpoena, if it hits your registry of concern at all for NVIDIA. Yeah, look, I think you have to put in the context of broader tech. I mean, Apple, of course, Google, you know, have another trial next week. I mean, that is just sort of the tone in the beltway. I mean, we are just going to see some of those drum rolls. Look, we're not too concerned about this for NVIDIA. I think just because when you actually look at what's happened here from an execution, the reason that they've essentially dominated it is just because how stellar the execution has been and how they've just been so far ahead. AMD and others will ultimately get into this sort of race. But I just view this as more of a scarier headline than the reality. Also, in the context of what's happened in big tech, NVIDIA is just part of the club that continues to be part of that pressure, Beltway versus big tech. Jokes on their competitors who try to outspend NVIDIA. It turns out, efficiency trumps extravagance in this arena. With the highest operating margin in the Magnificent 7 at 62%, NVIDIA's profitability stands testament to its superior execution. One piece of news that caught the market's eye recently among their lackluster analysis of NVIDIA's results by dubbing it a failure, suggested that NVIDIA's recent stock plunge was linked to rumors of a Justice Department subpoena related to an antitrust investigation. 
But NVIDIA debunked that claim swiftly, even though the market has already reacted and started a self-sufficient cycle of anxiousness. NVIDIA's earnings are not crushing expectations. Things are slowing down. Then it has to be that we reach the AI revolution's peak and are self-correcting. And this goes on and on until a substantial piece of news drops on everyone's head, be it expectedly or not. The Blackwell GPU launch, for example, would be a great example for such an event taking place. Still, NVIDIA's stock felt the pressure from broader macroeconomic factors, such as a cooler-than-expected job growth report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. With just 142,000 new jobs added in August, significantly below the expected 161,000, the markets reacted, fearing an economic slowdown that could potentially stall the tech boom, including AI investments. But before going any further, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. Did you notice that NVIDIA went from being down 80 cents to being up after the employment number? We're way too sensitive. Those do not correlate. You know, Jensen Wong, if he saw what we're doing in the stock market, correlating interest rates with what they're up to, he would say, what do they have anything to do with each other? And the, inter interest is, the, in the answer is that it's very interesting for people to construct these ideas in their head. Well, the, the people have tried to argue that NVIDIA is a, a, a dynamic that leads to economic activity because of the size, because of the build-out, because of the CapEx. Yeah. Look, I think that's a great theory because uh, you look at the data center. There's so many companies involved with data center. I mean, that is a primary driver of Caterpillar's the data center. Uh, we know that Jonathan Gray, though, from uh, Blackstone, they bought another uh, data center. They wouldn't be doing that unless they felt data centers were a secular story. Right now, data centers became cyclical. Out of nowhere, the biggest theory of what's going on in the economy became cyclical, and that's going to be uh, verified by the manufacturing jobs not going higher. Right. I thought they would go higher. That was not good. We did get some decent prints on, uh, on construction job yes. growth. And that could be related. I just never want to see manufacturing down because that's, you, you, we've, we've got this whole reshoring concept. Despite all these fluctuations that would have surely taken down just about any other tech company, NVIDIA remains a robust player and a leader in the field. The company's recent earnings were formidable, and the anticipation around its Blackwell platform only adds to the company's bright future. According to reports, even if the economy shows hiccups, giants like Microsoft, Alphabet, and Meta platforms are not likely to halt their AI investments. With ample cash reserves and a clear focus on AI infrastructure, these companies' investment plans serve as a safety net for NVIDIA. Data alone isn't enough to grasp NVIDIA's market presence. Remember when NVIDIA made the Motley Fool stock advisors list on April 15th, 2005? A $1,000 investment back then would now be worth $630,099. Now, that's not just a testament to NVIDIA's growth, but also a reminder that smart investments can yield astronomical returns. With stock advisors' total average return standing at 702%, compared to just 161% for the S&P 500, NVIDIA remains a compelling case for savvy investors. Uh, I mean, tech, I think, revealed its hand last week because NVIDIA had a good number, but it fell. So when stocks fall on good news, you know it's either a crowded trade or something bad could be coming. And then, of course, they've led the downside this week. I, I think it is part of this pull forward the seasonality because people want to de-risk and tech is a big holding. But I think on the margin, there could also be a political aspect to this. You know, Trump's probability of winning actually increased this week in the betting markets and in the polls. And I know investors think he'll be tough on China, which would be bad for semis. So I think part of this could be fears that a Trump gaining is, is bad for semis. What, what if there's just too much priced into these stocks at this point? Valuations have gotten a little too rich, even if they're the greatest stocks in the world, which you've made the argument that, in fact, they are, that this is the place you want to be maybe more than any other. And what if that's true and the multiples still don't don't make sense? Um, it, I, I think it's possible. Uh, you know, in a, NVIDIA's last 10 years of history, uh, there have been 30 percent drawdowns almost eight times of similar magnitude. Uh, it's P.E. NVIDIA's Ford P.E. was actually higher 
at the bottom of those drawdowns. You know, right now, NVIDIA's Ford P is in the mid-20s. So to me, this looks like a normal profit taking. Maybe it takes NVIDIA down to the 90s, but I think two years from now, that's really going to be a gift. So when you look at all of these, are you a buyer on the dip? Are you urging people who read your research and listen to you here and elsewhere to do that? Uh, we're close to that point because let's say we thought that there would be a 7 to 10 percent, the risk of a 7 to 10 percent drawdown between now and November, we're almost down 5 percent now. I think we're next week we could be within that point of where we pulled forward that entire correction into the month of September. So I think we're close to the point where, I mean, I wouldn't be a seller here. And I think the lower range of the S&P's 5400, 5350, we're almost there now. NVIDIA is not just riding the AI wave, it's steering the ship. Despite recent stock dips triggered by job reports and rumors, NVIDIA's fundamental strength remains unshaken. The company's proven track record combined with its new Blackwell platform set to launch in Q4, makes a strong case for future growth. NVIDIA's impressive profitability, underscored by a 62% operating margin, and its ability to lead with minimal R&D spending are clear indicators of its robust business model. If there's ever been a stock that merits a close look, NVIDIA is it. The giants fueling the company's growth aren't about to pull out due to minor economic stumbles. They're committed to AI investments, providing NVIDIA with a mode of security against economic downturns. So, if you've been sitting on the fence about investing in NVIDIA, now might be the time to make a move. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about NVIDIA's current market position and its future prospects? Feel free to share your opinions and join the conversation. And finally, if you would like to know what companies like NVIDIA have been up to these past few days, Go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.